ever wondered what happens when three countries come together to build a railway? Meet Rail Baltica, a game changer in the continent's high-speed network. Stretching over 870 kilometers, this monumental project is bringing cutting-edge engineering and advanced technology to regions that have long lacked modern railways. With a $6.3 billion budget and the eyes of the EU watching, the pressure is on to get everything just right. Engineers are using the latest digital tools to ensure every bolt and beam is perfectly placed. And yes, the stakes are high. This railway aims to connect the Baltic states to the rest of Europe, finally putting them on the fast track. How will Rail Baltica overcome its immense challenges and redefine travel in Europe? Ever felt like Europe's train map was missing a piece? Imagine if you had a puzzle with one glaring gap right in the middle. That's been the story for the Baltic states, Estonia, Latvia, and Lithuania. For years, they've been the forgotten corners of the European rail network. You see, these countries nestled up by the Baltic Sea have been stuck with an outdated rail system. It's almost as if time stopped back when the Soviet Union collapsed. And let's face it, nobody wants to be left with a 1990s railway while the rest of Europe zips around on sleek, high-speed trains. Now, if you're a rail aficionado, or just someone who hates traffic jams, you know about the Trans-European Transport Network. It's the EU's ambitious plan to link every corner of the continent with cutting-edge infrastructure. Think of it as Europe's very own web of iron and steel. But for the Baltic states, joining this network has been nothing short of a Herculean task. Their railways were built to a different gauge, pointing east when they needed to go north-south. In other words, they were the odd ones out in Europe's grand design. But all this is about to change. Enter Rail Baltica, the mega project that's set to plug this gaping hole in Europe's rail map. It's a lifeline connecting these nations to the rest of the continent. With advanced technology, world-class design, and a whopping $6.3 billion budget, Rail Baltica is an 870-kilometer high-speed railway that will connect these three countries to the rest of Europe. This project is transforming the region's infrastructure from the ground up, and it's set to change everything. Let's start at the top, in Ulemest, Tallinn. Here, construction has begun on a cutting-edge train station designed by the famous Zaha Hadid architects. Sleek and modern, this station will seamlessly connect travelers to buses, trams, and the nearby airport. Right now, crews are busy with excavation and laying foundations, battling old infrastructure to make way for the new. Moving down through Estonia, the project focuses on eco-friendly crossings. One standout is the Ecoduct, a special viaduct for wildlife. It allows animals to cross the railway safely, made up of 25-ton concrete arches forming a tunnel. This is crucial for maintaining natural habitats while advancing human infrastructure. In Latvia, things get even busier. Riga, the capital, is seeing the construction of a massive new central station. This station will be a sprawling hub of activity, covering nearly 13,000 square meters with impressive glazed roofs. The foundations of seven arches were in place by late 2023, with ongoing work connecting the station to the Dogava River Bridge and the airport. The airport's Rail Baltica Terminal will be the region's first high-speed rail and air traffic hub, revolutionizing travel convenience. Teams in Sukul, Latvia are dealing with a unique challenge, clearing a World War II military site filled with unexploded munitions. This must be done to ensure safe construction of the main railway line. Nearby, a new dual bridge over the Dogava River will carry both trains and cars. This two-floor bridge will be a first for the Baltic states, enhancing connectivity and efficiency. In Lithuania, the Rail Baltica line splits towards Vilnius and Kaunas, highlighting one of its most impressive feats of engineering, the new bridge over the Neris River. 
This bridge stretches an incredible 1,510 meters, making it the longest in the Baltic states. Vilnius, the capital, is a major economic and cultural hub, and connecting it with the Rail Baltica network will significantly boost regional development. Kaunas, on the other hand, is a strategic logistics center, crucial for freight transport and economic activities in the region. Construction is moving quickly, with workers installing piles at a rate of one to two per day. They're using a rotary drilling machine that can reach heights of 27 meters, and additional equipment is being brought in to speed up the process. In total, 376 piles will be installed. Most of these piles are 1.5 meters in diameter, but some will be 1.8 meters. The deepest pile will reach 33 meters into the ground. Once the piles are in place, concrete will be poured to form the pile foundations. The next step is to build the grate, which is the upper part that connects the piles and supports the bridge structure. After that, construction will move on to the piers, abutments, and supports, followed by the finishing works. The bridge is not only long, but also stands 40 meters high, making it a complex structure requiring meticulous planning and execution. Preliminary work, such as clearing the site and preparing approach roads, has been underway for over a year to ensure everything goes smoothly. Meanwhile, Vilnius is set to receive a new station named Green Connect. This station will blend modern infrastructure with natural elements, featuring a roof made of locally sourced timber and water gardens designed to process rainwater. The station will serve as an integrated hub, offering public spaces and connecting seamlessly with the surrounding nature. Building a railway through three countries is no small feat. Each state has its own regulations, languages, and even different mentalities, making collaboration essential, yet challenging. Digital technology has been a savior here. Tools like ProjectWise and Open Buildings Designer have created a connected data environment. This allows teams to collaborate via 3D models and detect clashes early in the design phase. One of the biggest challenges is aligning the Baltic railways with the rest of Europe. Currently, the railways in the Baltic states use a different track gauge, width between rails, than the rest of Europe. The Baltic states use the Russian gauge, 1,522 millimeters, while Western Europe uses the standard gauge, 1,435 millimeters. This difference means that trains from the Baltic states can't run on tracks in other European countries without modifications. To fix this, Rail Baltica is building new tracks that match the European standard gauge. This alignment is crucial because it ensures smooth, direct connections from the Baltic states to other parts of Europe, like Poland and Germany. It also helps reduce reliance on Russian railways, which is important given the current geopolitical situation. Connecting Helsinki to Tallinn poses another challenge. These two cities are separated by the Gulf of Finland, so the plan includes using a ferry to link the railway lines between them. Once passengers and freight reach Tallinn by ferry, they can continue their journey on the Rail Baltica line, which will run on the new standard gauge tracks through Riga, Kaunas, and into Poland and Germany. Despite these complexities, Rail Baltica is forging ahead. The project has faced delays and cost overruns, initially pegged at $6 billion, estimates now suggest it might hit $8 billion. But with up to 85% of the funding coming from the EU and the rest from the Baltic states, there's strong financial backing to see it through. Construction is ramping up to have trains running by 2030. It's a tight schedule, but the benefits are immense. Not only will it cut travel times dramatically, imagine zipping from Tallinn to Vilnius in just over three and a half hours but it will also slash CO2 emissions and reduce air pollution by more than 18% compared to other forms of transport. The project isn't just about connecting the Baltic states. It's part of a much larger vision. The Trans-European Transport Network aims to link every corner of Europe with state-of-the-art infrastructure, and Rail Baltica is a crucial piece of this puzzle. 
It's set to enhance regional connectivity, boost economic growth, and promote sustainable transportation. When complete, Rail Baltica will integrate the Baltic states into the European railway system, making it easier for people and goods to move across the continent. It's a bold step towards a more connected and sustainable Europe, and the early signs are promising. What do you think will be the biggest benefit of Rail Baltica for the Baltic states? Let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications for more updates on exciting infrastructure projects across Europe.